Why me can't bother you, man? Too much things in a life are bother me, you know, man. Why me have the bills to go pay? Me have the care to go deal with? Me have the rent? Why? You have a terrible life, you know, man. Life don't set out we, you know, man. John, no style. You know what things rough still not Johnny, but you know, man. If it is, say God come true for me before, it can come true for you too. So, I don't saw you take on life still, my brother. Yeah, I know say the thing off right now, but just pray say yo, everything will come true in the end, you know. Because you have food for your stove, though. Alright. So give thanks. You can walk up on the road and say yo, you're gonna buy something. Though. Alright. So what you worry about? Eh? God no make him pity them so far enough. So brother, think positive. Attitude is a must. Yes, I'm sure you're singing the song. Join me. Blessings are for my life and mm-hmm. But thank God for the journey, the earned said you for it. Stop it, man. Stop it. Welcome, welcome, welcome again, everyone, to Jovi Royalty Inspires. Another episode where we'll be inspiring, motivating, and uplifting someone. Today, we have our first ever Gratitude Thursdays where you will be hearing from a special individual someone who i consider to be a confidant a friend a aunt a mother and most of all a very industrious wife i want to say thank you so much big up bless up thanks for all the shares the likes and the subscribes you might be out here today going through an experience that you don't know the end result for you might be experiencing a situation where you feel like you want to give up on life you might want to take your life you might want to say listen i'm done with this but this episode will be a reminder to you that there's someone else who's going through the same thing just like you but the difference in approaching the situation is how your mindset is channeled. Are you praising God in advance for this? Are you seeing where these stumbling blocks? Are you seeing where this crossroads is teaching you a lesson? Or are you viewing this as just a negative bad situation? Well friends, today I someone who will be sharing with you how life has been taking her in a roller coaster but god without any further ado i just want to welcome this special young lady in the midst here today and uh, she's looking so elegant in her lovely dress as you can see welcome welcome to you welcome thanks for having me my pleasure my pleasure and how are you today i'm wonderful i'm blessed i'm highly favored wow did you hear that blessed a wonderful time to hear about bliss right on this our gratitude thursdays well i'm very sure that our viewers are wondering who is this beautiful young lady beside of me well, I am not going to be the one to do the honors of introducing her, but for sure, I would love for you to state to our viewing audience your name and what's that one thing about you that you consider to be unique along with a philosophy that keeps you going. Okay, well, I'm Judith, I'm Judith Samuels, and I am a very compassionate person. I love people. I love the text, which reminds me that God is my strength. Yes. I cannot do anything without Him, so my philosophy is putting Him first. Wow. Putting Him first. Have you been putting God first? Have you been placing Him as the driver of your life? There is also a philosophy that I came up with recently, you know, and it is stated just like this, very simple but profound. Mm -hmm. When you put God first, you will never come last. Mm -hmm. But when you put God second, you will never have him first. So if you focus on God as the driver of your life, then 
everything else will fall in place so continue to put him first yes. that was very powerful yes, yes, very yes. powerful yes. you know and so as we go throughout life sometimes we meet up on stumbling blocks we meet up on crossroads where sometimes you believe that you can't get over it but today my friends before i get any further into this message i just want to say that if you are going through life and you meet up on a crossroads if you should make a decision as to which to choose choose the cross because that's where christ died for you and me that's where he lived out his purpose so that we could be here today mm -hmm. and so that's how christ lived out his purpose but i'm very sure he went through experiences here on earth as well and so today our dear sister and friend aunt of mine sister judith she's going to give us an experience an encounter that you had that in the end you can say that you are truly grateful for this experience what's that story that you have that you'd love to share to us well it is something that i went through it's a health situation a health challenge that i had it started on my birthday actually wow. i felt the first discomfort on my birthday and that discomfort continued for weeks and i couldn't figure it out but i kept you know, doing home remedies to see if I could get rid of this feeling, but the feeling got, you know, increasingly worse. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember that God, I, I claim the promises in the Bible. Yes. I claim the promises that, you know, God said, You will be here with me. You'll never, you'll never leave me nor forsake me. You'll take care of me. And He also said that certain things you need to call on the elders and the pastors. And, and, and let them pray over you which I did yes. because I was so desperate at this point in time because yes. my situation was so grim you know yes. and I was feeling so down and oh my body was in pain mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. pain and, and, and I just couldn't deal with it but I called upon Jesus when I was in my pain yes. I claimed the promises when I was in my pain that's right I actually I actually ended up at the hospital wow. because the pain got so it, it intensified mm -hmm. and when i got to the hospital they said they will have to run several tests yes and i'm telling you brothers and sisters they did all the tests that they could do and they have not found anything no you, you, you said just now that they did all the tests and they could not find they anything. They haven't found anything. They Nothing found at anything. all. No. And to you, you were going through an experience that you didn't see a way through, but you went back to look on God's promises. Yes, I did. I claimed them. You claimed them. I claimed those promises. So before you reach to the hospital you would have started to claim those long promises. before the hospital day i would yes. have claimed those promises even the morning when we were going to the hospital yes. i had my family pray for me i said pray for me please listen when two, wherever two or three are gathered and we call upon jesus mm -hmm. name yes. brothers and sisters yes. i'm telling you yes it is powerful because God is hearing and he's just waiting to hear us, hear us calling. Yes. So I called and I said, listen, come. And we prayed and we prayed, we called upon Jesus Christ. And I claimed the victory right here. Listen, when, when you are desperate, that is when you just open yourself to everything and anything. Yes. You allow God to have his own way in your life. And I said, God, please, Heal me, please yes. restore me, and I will share your goodness, how you have worked in my life, God. Yes. I will share this testimony with the world. Yes. And God, he has made a way. I hope that you will claim Jesus for yourself. Hold him to his promises. You know, there's something that's throat 
to me in that testimony where two or three are gathered here also the presence of the Lord is and many times in life just as all our dear sister said just now we have to claim the promises right you might be going through that situation my friend where you lost a job you might be going through a situation right now where you have a family member who turned their back on you you might have a friend that you thought would have been there with you throughout your journey here in life but some way somehow that friend has left you alone but today we're being told to continue to put god first continue to claim the promises of god in your life it might not be easy because there are a lot of things bad going on around you but i'm very sure that there are several things that are good going on just the same and one of those is that god restores you went through that situation where you had to even go to the hospital remember the battle is not ours it's not yours the battle belongs to the lord it's so let us leave all our battles to him it's hard sometimes but we have to make that decision to allow him to fight our battles perfectly said What's that one thing that you would leave with our viewers to give, to encourage someone, to allow them to see that they should be grateful even in times of trouble? Listen, just remember that God is always with you. He never leaves you and He never forsakes you. Stick close to Him as a brother. Be a friend. Find him now. Seek him now. Don't wait until something happens. Because you will feel you know you're gonna feel so good in yourself to you know that listen, I'm just gonna approach my God, this God when I'm in a problem. But listen, have that relationship with him. Yes. Have that relationship now. So when there's a situation, you can go to him and tell him, pour your heart out to him. And watch it mark in your life. Amen. So powerful. And I leave this with you today, which comes from my favorite Philippians 1, verse 6. He who has begun a good work in me will continue it until the day of Christ Jesus. So, friends, if you are out there today wondering if God has left you wondering if there is no one there for you just remember these words that were shared today continue to put god first continue to claim his blessings his promises over your life and you will see him come through it doesn't matter the situation you have been through you will come through so today i leave that with you and i just want to thank you sister judith samuels for sharing your time with me today and i'm very sure someone would have been blessed by your message so i pray that god will continue to lead and direct you and i encourage you to keep on that path and i continue to claim full restoration in my life as i continue to travel for this role of healing. Amen. Amen. And so friends, I just want to tell you thanks once more. Continue to share this message to someone. You might have a family, a friend, someone who would need to hear this message. And so you can comment in the section down below and like and continue to subscribe to this channel as we continue to impact lives. Gratitude is a must. Continue to show gratitude even in times of despair. May God bless you. Until next time, this is Jovi Royalty Inspires.